Hello, everyone, and welcome inside the CIF. I'm Richard Tiemann, and we have just one more team's home and away opponents to give you a sneak peek at before the official revised schedule release tomorrow. So without further ado, let's take a peek at the Wichita Force. All right, fans, here to go over the last revised schedule release sneak peek, head coach of the Wichita Force, Carlos Cavanaugh. Welcome, coach. How are you? Uh, pretty good, Mr. Richard. Nice to have him. Thank you for having me. Yeah, last but not least, your guys' schedule. I looked it over. There's some there's some rough spots, but I guess we'll go ahead and hear it straight from you. What do you think of, of the schedule before the official release date? Oh, I believe it's going to be very competitive. I'm eager to get it started. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be some competitive games, great coaches in the CIF, good, stable organization. So I look forward to be very fun. I mean, I don't see a dull moment, a dull week in the league this year. Yeah, with only six teams, I mean, yeah, you think, okay, the champion only has to beat five other teams, but, you know, when you play them multiple times, it becomes quite the challenge. So I'm sure you know all about that. And for the fans watching at home, your guys' home and away opponents are at home. You get Oklahoma, Sioux City, Oklahoma, Wyoming, and Salina. And then away, you have Salina, Sioux City, Omaha, Oklahoma, and Wyoming. Your first official CIF matchup is Salina on the road. How do you feel going into a new season after losing one on the road to take on a very tough opponent? For the fans, that'd be awesome because, you know, that's our in-state rival. Uh, you know, they're going to be coached very well and fundamentally sound with Coach O'Neill, who's been around the game for a very long time. A guy I should have nothing but love and respect for. So, you know, they're going to come in and they're going to have very little mistakes and he's going to have them well tuned. So on our end, we just have to come out and just make sure we're focused to get our best ability. Cause at the end of the day, you know, with Solana and coach O'Neill again, he's going to put out a product that's going to be no less of a championship run. So just have to match their intensity and hopefully we know we'll come out on a better end. Which is the perfect segue into my next question. Your guys' season starts off a little slow with a bye week and then a non-league uh, matchup. So how do you plan to use that time um, with, you know, weeks that don't count towards your win-loss record for the season? Uh, coming in this year, you know, we have a lot of young guys coming in. So it gives us another week to work with those young guys and kind of get them ready. But also it gives them a chance to actually watch a week of full game speed and full game film of the opponents that we have coming up this year. So we'll take that week as a learning experience again, get in some extra learning, try to get those young guys ready, hopefully get the vets back in transition of being back in indoor football because setting out last year due to COVID, it kind of puts you back again. So again, just trying to get our feet back wet and just get back into the game and relax and have fun. Yeah, and you have Wyoming, both home and away, a new expansion team to the league. And of course, with that comes some advantages and disadvantages. One, they're a new team and they don't have really a whole lot to go off of uh, as far as their opponents go. But at the same time, you guys don't have a whole lot of film on them either. What's your approach to taking on an expansion team for the first time? Well, you just try to try to do your best. Luckily, we don't have them the first game of the season. So we'll get a chance to get some type of film on them or get a chance to see them in action a little bit before we get a chance to go up against them. But again, dealing with expansion teams, one thing, you know, in the CIF, if they're bringing in someone as an expansion, they have a good solid foundation behind them because, again, the CIF loves the stability in the organization. So with that being said, you know, with the stability that they're going to have behind them, that they're bringing in quality players. I don't see the CIF bringing in an organization that can't compete for a championship and is not willing to have the players to compete for a championship. So I see nothing less with Wyoming. I see them coming in as strong contenders, again, playing to win the championship and going to give you their best shot. 
Yeah, and looking at the home and away opponents, I see that you have Oklahoma three times, two home, one away, but Omaha only one time. And this will definitely be a season that after not having one and then with only 10 games, every game will count. Is there a matchup that really stands out to you? Um, me personally, I'm just ready to get back out there and indoor football. But I know just for the bragging rights and just for the fan base, again, that game with Salina, it would be a big one for the fans for their in-state rival. But seeing the CIF as it is now, it kind of reminds me of the old UIF days. I know it's kind of showing my age a little bit. But, I mean, in the UIF, the original eight teams that were in there, four of them are still existing today, and we're still in the league, which is us, Omaha, Sioux City. And so, again, just having that old rivalry there and teams that's been around for years still being in the same league and competing for me, that's the excitement that I look forward to seeing, just renewing those old rivalries and keeping those old rivalries going. But, again, for the fans, I would have to say Salina. All right. And the last question for you, we've kind of been breaking up these schedules into thirds. And as I mentioned, you guys start off a little slower than the other teams with the early buy and then a non-league uh, matchup. But then two very different parts of the season. You have three away games in a row. Granted, there is a bye week that breaks those up. And then you have three home games in a row to finish out your season. What's going to be the key to your guys' success with such a back and forth schedule? That pressure, I believe, comes on the coaching staff and preparation. Whether it's home or away, we want to make sure we have the guys prepared for the situation and just be able to play the best of their abilities. So, we're again, when we go on a strip, uh, the strength of going away or whether we're at home is just a preparation, having our guys ready, uh, mind, body, and sound, and just making sure we're prepared the right way. When we're on the road, making sure we have the proper time, you know, to rest, to travel, to get our game plans in, but at the same time, guys who have different things going on, making sure we're doing the preparation to where that is not an outside effect, mind-wise, you know, guys have families and jobs and different things of that nature. So when you're having them on a the road in consecutive weekends, you also want to make sure that they're able to, again, focus on football and nothing's taken away from that mindset. So we just go through the week, making sure we're prepared mentally and physically to just put on the best show we can. Absolutely. That's all anyone can ask for at the end of the day. I mean, there's six teams, 10 weeks, and a lot of great action that we can expect to see out of the CIF this season. And at the end of it all, crown a new champion. So I want to thank you so much for your time, Coach. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. He is once again, Carlos Cavanaugh, head coach of the Wichita Forest. You have a great night. You as well. And one more big thank you to Coach Kavanaugh for joining me today and going over the home and away opponents for the Wichita Force. Don't forget, tomorrow is the big day, the official revised schedule release. So make sure that you check back tomorrow for all six teams, home and away games, and the dates. Until then, I'm Richard Tiemann, and this is Inside the CIF. Mm -hmm.